You know, if there's one positive thing to come out of all this drama with X-Men 97, it's the continued exposure of fake fans existing in the comic book space here online. It's exposing them for who they are. A bunch of like uh, grifters, scammers, outrage farmers who don't really care about the content they're talking about. And with the X-Men, it's very obvious because I can tell you this, X-Men fans, the ones that have been reading them for a long time, like myself, we know this stuff backwards and forwards. You can't play games with us like this. We know. And so we have JDA here. We're not going to watch this video. I already watched it. I'm not going to punish you guys by making you sit through it. But JDA here made a video and uh, this is him like sort of lamenting on the success of his storm troll because I'm going to assume it was a troll because clearly that that entire argument about storm being, you know, gender bendy or whatever was just literally to get people talking about him and handing him L's after L after L after L because he was just wrong. So I'm assuming he has a fetish for being wrong. Yes, Mistress Internet, please hand me more L's. You know, beat me some more and give me some more L's because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I mean, it's pretty much what it is at this point. So here he has another article. It's called, it looks like it was written by AI. Did AI write this title? It's so fucking dumb. Uh, Marvel comic leaks new X-Men relaunch will further feminist agenda with Kitty, Pride, and Rogue leading teams in 2024. You mean the same Kitty Pride and Rogue that have led the X-Men in the past already? Those two characters? Along with other women like Jean Grey, Storm, Emma Frost, there's so many to name. Women have led the X-Men over the years before. How? Why is it now a feminist agenda? Why now is that a problem? Tourist. You're a tourist with the X-Men. It's really, really funny to me. Also, the X-Men, one of the longest running jokes with the X-Men within the community is they should be called the X-Women because for many, many years, they had more women in the roster than they did men. In some of the most prolific runs, like the late 80s, early 90s, there were more women in the X-Men than there were men in many of their classic stories. That's a running joke. But what, they weren't feminists then, but they are now? How does that work? Is it just like in 2024, it's feminism, but in like 1995, it's not? I need to be clued in on how your scam is going to work here, how your grift is going to work. Is, is that the narrative we're going with? He also talks here about a cover with like the women of Marvel, as if that's something new, that Marvel has never done anything like that before. However, I want to point out women of Marvel, here's 2010. 2010, two issues, women of Marvel featuring the women of Marvel. Look, Marvel Divas, 2009, um, over a decade ago, they were doing this. Was it a problem then? Or is it just a problem now? Oh, look, here's a whole podcast series called Women of Marvel from 2018. Tons of stories here, tons of episodes you can go and listen to, a full podcast about it. We have Ms. Marvel, Echo, Monica Rambeau, Captain Marvel, Rogue Storm, Emma Frost, uh, the Wasp, Shuri, Jean Grey, so many great stories about uh, the women of Marvel from 2018. But sure, let's pretend it's some insidious thing now in 2024 that would never happened before in Marvel Comics because that is how you guys function. All of these fake fans that don't know what they're talking about when it comes to comic books. So looking at the title of this video, who has an agenda here? Let's put this in perspective. Who has an agenda? Marvel who has already done Women of Marvel before. No big shock, no surprise, no secret. Uh, they've had Kitty Pride Rogue as leaders on the X-Men before. They've been prominent characters in the X-Men before. The women in the X-Men uh, largely have been some of the most prolific uh, women superheroes in all of comic books uh, over the years. Are, are they the ones with an agenda that they're pushing? Or is it the people like JDA and all of these like Grift Tube people who keep making up things talking to people who are obviously really ignorant, people who are easily malleable. They can be molded and convinced and coerced into believing all these things because they're getting their news from people who are just lying to them. It's really fucking funny. The, the title of this article is a joke. It's just really stupid as fuck. And the content of this, like being mad that the X-Men is has some sort of like... Uh, Women empowerment? The fucking X-Men? Yo, I just... 
I, I just want to be straight up with you guys. It's it's getting to the point now where it's almost a joke. It's almost like I'm waiting for the punchline. It's almost like like this is almost a parody of itself. This is almost a parody of the content that we're getting from these guys because anyone who's ever read the X-Men or loved, loved the X-Men over the years, and I'm talking to people that like this these content creators, there's no way with a straight face being completely serious that you guys can sit up here and cap about the fact that the X-Men have not been women forward in the past. There's no way. There's no fucking way. And that's what makes this so crazy to me. Makes it so crazy to me that they somehow think they've cornered this market on X-Men fans who are surprised that they're like treating the women with respect and giving them a lot of stories and putting them in the forefront, considering that's been sort of the thing with the X-Men since the 70s. I don't believe in gatekeeping. I'm not here to gatekeep people. But then when you have bad actors like this who want to come into the space and manipulate and lie and pretend as if the X-Men have not been feminist in the past, it makes it really difficult for me to say, oh yeah, come on in. Come on in and hang out with us. I've said enough. Fuck this kind of content.